Welcome to Affinity Photo. Today we're going to remove an object from a photo. Here we have a photo of Desna with a lead on. Lead off. And let's resume where we left off last time. Clone undo. Now the brush needs to be have the flow increased. Let's go flow, increase. I think we want to stop at about 82%. Okay, by pressing Alt, we get the cross. Now we want to press on that left mouse button and we select the blue. That's not quite what we want. So we press here on the grey and now we can select that. Now what we can do is keep clicking in different areas, picking up different sections. Go from one side to the other. Keep clicking and selecting different bits that's very close to where we're working. As you can see, it's covering it quite nicely. But I don't like this big grey patch up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a section from here and change it so it's not quite so uniform. Now don't forget, holding down the Alt key gives you the cross and clicking gives you the selection of where the cross is. Here you can see as you move around, the cross will follow you wherever you go. So you need to pick very carefully where you select your cross from. If you go up here and click in this dark area, click, you can see that doesn't match at all. So you really need to go somewhere close to where you're actually working. This isn't so bad here, but the pixels will be a different size at the different further away. So you're better clicking and selecting very close to where you're working for the best results. Let's carry on. So keep clicking. You can see the line there when I copy it on the line, how it moves across. So keep clicking and covering the different parts of the lead. And you'll start to see it build and grow up. Okay, keep going. Now up here, I've got two peaks, which I don't like. So we can alter that. Let's get rid of one of them. Let's fix my deflected. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Now here you can see the, where the lead had a shadow and I think that looks like where the lead was, but it's not, it's the shadow. I think we need to get rid of that. So let's try and make a difference there. So let's keep clicking and covering. Don't forget, we need to use it from both sides. So let's click on the other side. Keep working along, picking different sections. Deciding what we think looks good. There was a bit too much up there, so let's change that. Okay. It's always worth having a look at where we have got to. So by control and minus to zoom out, we can see where the lead has gone from. And that looks pretty acceptable, I think. So zoom a bit further out and see where the rest of the lead we have got to remove. Okay, so don't forget, we can also use the hand tool to move the picture around. Zoom in, lift it. Now we're in a position to see the rest of the lead we need to remove. But here in the middle is an interesting concept. You can see where the lead is going across the join in the slabs. So firstly, I think we better move the lead from the bottom section. Here we go. Let's start removing this lead with the clone tool. Don't forget, alter plus the left mouse button to select where we want to come from. And keep going from one side to the other with our mouse, selecting different parts of the concrete. As you can see, I've just made my brush a bit bigger. That makes it a bit easier than this part down the bottom. Keep clicking and dragging. Now we've got rid of the lead, let's sort out the join in these two slabs. So let's go and get ourselves a smaller brush. Let's turn the brush down to 40 pixels. Let's try that. Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a section here. So it's Alter and the left mouse button to select where I'm going to copy from. Now you can see that that will line up quite nicely. Now if I move it to one side, this is important. You must try and line it up so it looks in a straight line. Out there would be no good. So really nice and close 
and make sure it joins on nice and then click and drop it in place that's fine it looks a little bit uniform i think i'm going to grab another section from further down so let's find a spot that i think looks similar there i'm going to click on that copy it across and put it in the middle to try and make it look different there that looks a lot better okay let's go back up and get a hand tool and move the picture so we can have a look at the bottom part of the lead that's left. Now then, I think we have that small brush, so we need to get the clone tool again. Go and find our brush size. Let's change it to about a 60, I think that should do. Now it looks like I've just stamped one in the wrong place. So you know what to do, file, undo, and there we are, right. What we're going to do now is take one from the left, another one from the left. Let's go on to the right and keep changing sides. Left, right. Here you can see it looks a bit grey in the middle, but we'll change that in a minute. Now here at the bottom, you can see the line going across on the concrete where it joins again. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to copy a piece from there and pull it straight down. There we go. And now the line's complete. Let's get rid of this bit of this grey in the middle. Let's get a bit more dark. Let's click on the dark, put it in. Yep, there. Another one, I think, just about there. That looks better. Let's zoom back out now. Let's get the hand tool and control minus to zoom out and just check that that lead's now disappeared. I think that's okay now. There's no sign of the lead. I'm quite happy with that. Right, what we're going to do now is move on to the next section that we need to remove. So with our hand tool, move it down, control plus, and we can zoom in. Move it again to get the position we need. And this is the piece we're going to remove now. This piece of lead going across Desna's foot.